So I'm just going to shortly explain what I wanted to talk about in the lecture. The lecture was 20 minutes, but the audio quality was kind of, um, you know, you could hear it in, out, in, out quite a lot. Uh, so in the, in the last five minutes there, after explaining how Istanbul works, I wanted to explain common property rights and how that builds in with culture. So I made the nine squares, but I only used six because of my creativity of creating regions and religions and cultures in <laughs> in Istanbul isn't that easy. But anyways, <clears throat> so of the nine, I, I mentioned three was important. One was Greek, one was Turk, one was Arab. And the reason why these are important, that's important well, the reason why these are important is because they're very visible on how things work. So um, from Constantinople's taken over, from the Turks, it's been obvious how the Greeks have been handled over time. Obviously, victors uh, and a war can change things, so and law can't really be implemented. But it's still an active change today where Greek buildings are being bullied and Greek areas are being bullied by Turks. Because there's always been this conflict between Turks and uh, they should have some certain rights to then defend themselves. And that are very easy, uh, easy, I would say more dangerous for the Turks themselves are the Arabs. Because the Arabs are doing the same thing that the Turks did to the Greeks back in the day. They're moving into areas and nothing really you can do about it. You can, you can moan and complain, but you, you, no changes can be done. The only changes that can be done is if a leader stands up. So, this is why we talked about we talked about the three types of law, but I think I'm just going to talk about Islamic law at all. So important in this conversation, uh, Istanbul, Turkey, Istanbul, whatever they have the uh, civil law, uh, which is uh, the law is, is is above everything. So nothing is above the law. Well, not yeah, not even monarch. If they would be monarch, it's above the law. So everything must go under that. <laughs> So if if the law has any sort of uh, description on common property rights, then uh, you follow that. But n no civil law, no common law, law <laughs> has uh, any sort of that. And that's what we want to change. We want to make sure we can see that the commons is also a sort of property. What what is outside your door that is not in your direct property can also be defined as a right to defend that. A right to defend that which is not yours, that you spend time in, one can say. <clears throat> not what that exactly is, uh, depends on from country to country, obviously, but then you may have a methodology then to explain what should be common property and what shouldn't be common property in the Propertarian Institute. Uh, doesn't really talk much about civil law, talk much about common law, because in common law, is a little bit more easy than civil law. Yeah, yeah, because in, in civil law you need to have the president, the prime minister, the monarch, whoever, deciding a law. And it's universal and it's really hard to create. But in common law it's much easier because you don't need one person to create the law. You do it through, through, through um, uh, I can say, it, through courts, as they did back in the day as well. So if you talk about how common law worked back in the day, what it was, a bunch of judges uh, going out in, in, in the countryside and in the country uh, just creating normative law and which later became the law we have today and what 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 Kurt what we kind of want to do within common law is also the same way in the start one can say just get some more judges out there to increase the idea of property into the commons uh, in which you uh, don't fully own but are in so which is park bench, like parks. <laughs> we talk about park benches, that's why I come to my head. Parks and uh, uh, the, the commons, the, 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 you know, near the malls, near, near city centers, near the entire region of the community you live in, the people are, are around. The, um, I'll think of it, and it's pretty much in that which you want to defend. See it as that. And we can do that through uh, allowing people to. One we can say uh, sue different nations or different things. So let's say that in common law, if if a British government pushes five hundred uh, Arabs or whatever, well, it, it wouldn't be inestimable, but just because we talk about the common law, would push in, into 
it plays with a hundred Anglos. So the Anglos obviously want, and maybe there's a good culture in that. They, they want to defend it. They don't want these people there. So what they do, if they, if the government pushed them, in, they sue the government, or they sue the regional government or whatever made them push there, and then go through a court of law to see that they should have the right to make sure that those people don't come there. In, in today's system, if the government does that, pushes you know, five times the people that are in the area into your area, uh, you can do nothing except just uh, watch your daughter being raped. <laughs> well, I'm using Pat's argumentation there, but more or less, I mean, he, your common property will be destroyed. And all you can do is just giggle, laugh, or move. <laughs> giggle, laugh, cry, or move. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it, which is very sad. And this is why we're discussing it, that we need to have something to being able to defend. So if you create that into property as well, the, the area where the other people live and everybody has the property right to make sure that no one moves in, you can defend it. And by defending it, you shouldn't have an issue with the, with the 500 people moving in. And you do it through court of law and use it through our, well, we wanted to do our, our, our way of testimonialism because it makes it better. But even, even with our system, just increasing that, is fucking brilliant, but it's not, and it's sad. It's really sad. It would fix a lot of our problems we have in the West right now. Just to increase the property a tiny bit more, so you could either sue or put on the arrest people doing bad things to you, but you can't. So, yeah, that's my short explanation.